In this video, we'll look to see what happens when you cure the same composite for 1 second, 10 seconds, or 20 seconds. To deliver 1 second, we use the Monet 1 second curing light and we use Tetric Evo Flow bulk fill. We use the Power Cure for 10 seconds and the G4 for 20 seconds. The mold was 10 millimeters deep, and here we can see filling the mold. Note the aiming beam on the Monet. And now we're going to cure it for 1 second. Wow, that's fast. Now when we open the mold, we see unfortunately it's not cured at the bottom. We put the composite into a solvent to remove the uncured composite. Now we're going to cure the same composite using 10 seconds with the power cure. The first thing you'll notice is that 10 seconds seems a lot longer than 1 second. When we open the mold, again the bottom of the composite is uncured but it is 10 millimeters in depth. We'll dissolve away the uncured composite. Now we'll cure it for 20 seconds with a blue phase G4. And if you thought 10 seconds was long, how about 20 seconds using the G4? It seems like an eternity compared to the one second with the Monet. Okay, let's see what the composite looks like. Well, although we had to cure it for 20 seconds, the bottom was more cured. Again, we'll dissolve away the uncured composite. And let's look at the depth of cure now of those three specimens. So one second with a Monet, 6.8, 10 seconds, 7.9, and 20 seconds with the G4 gave you 9.3 millimeters. Now, if we divide that number by two as per the ISO, we'll see the one second with the Monet gave 3.4, whereas the 20 seconds with the blue phase G4 gave you the best depth of cure. This video shows that it's probably a good idea to cure for longer rather than shorter times. Now please remember this video was shot using Tetric Evo Flow, which is a bulk filling material intended to be cured in increments that are up to four millimeters thick. And of course, remember that depth of cure is not the only factor to consider. There are other factors such as polymerization shrinkage, the fracture toughness, the degree of conversion, and the hardness. If you want more information, please do read our article. Here's the QR code so that you can find it more easily. Please stay tuned for some more videos on this topic about dental curing lights and the polymerization of dental resins. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you for listening.